Now let us see these five examples. Construction of CFC for a language. Let's see the first example. L is equal to a power n, b power 2n such that n greater than or equal to 0. So here the language is L is equal to here it starts from 0. So 0 occurrences of a and b is nothing but epsilon. Next if n value is 1 then a power 1 means a1 b power 2n means b, b power 2 so that is double b if you take n as 2 then double a b power 2 2 into 2 so that is nothing but b power 4 so 4 b's likewise we can have n number of strings now let us uh, write the production rules production rules production rules let the starting symbol is yes. Production rules are denoted by P. Yes implies. What is the minimum string here? A, B, B. So here the string starts with A and ends with B, B. So in between A and B, B, we can have uh, any occurrences of A and B. So we can get those A's and B's by calling this A recursively A, S, B, B. Or what is the minimum string here? The minimum string is epsilon. So epsilon is used for termination purpose. Epsilon. Now let us try to derive this thing. A A for B's. S implies A S B B. A S B B. Next S implies A. What is S? A S B B. A S B B. Next remaining we have two B's. We got two A for B's. So we can terminate the process. So in place of here substitute epsilon. So double A 4 B. So we got double A 4 B. So we can say that our production rules are correct only. So what is the grammar here? G is equal to V comma T comma P comma S. So here V means non-terminal. Yes. Next terminals are A and B. Next to production P. Production rule P. And the starting symbol is yes. Uh, so this is the first example. Now let us see the second example. L is the first example is over. Second example. L is equal to a power 2n into b power m such that n is greater than or equal to 0. m is greater than or equal to 0. So L is equal to if you take n as 1 then 2a. If you take m as 1 uh, here also it starts from 0. So, zero occurrences of A and B is nothing but epsilon. Let us consider N A as 1 and M A as 1. So, A power 2 1 is nothing but double A. B power 1 is nothing but B. Let us take N A as 2. Then A power 2 into 2 means 4 A. Let us consider M A as 2. Then 2 B's. So, here the statement is for every 2 A's, we have a single B. So, let us write the production rule. P, yes implies what is the minimum string here? A, A, B. So it starts, the string starts with A, A and ends with B. In between A, A and B, we can have any number of A's and B's. So for getting those A's and B's, we have to call the starting symbol recursively. Or what is the minimum string here? Epsilon. Epsilon. So these are the production rules. Now let us derive this string. Yes implies. A A yes B S implies A A what is yes A A yes B A A yes B next after yes we have B in place of epsilon substitute in place of yes substitute epsilon next we got 4 A 4 B so 4 A 4 B is nothing but our derived string so we can say that our problem is correct only now let us uh, write the context free grammar for the Line base or for the regular expression 0 star 1 0 star 1 into 0 plus 1 whole star. Let us assume that this 0 is a a star. Let us write 1 as it is. Let us assume that this 0 plus 1 is denoted by b. So b star. Okay. So this is nothing but our starting symbol. Yes, these are the production rules. S implies a star 1 b star. Now what is a? A means any occurrences of 0. 
any occurrences of zero means epsilon comma zero comma uh, double zero comma likewise so the minimum string is zero after zero we can have any number of zeros we can get any number of zeros by calling this here recursively or zero number of uh, yes zero number of zeros is nothing but epsilon next what is b b means any number of zeros advance so any number of zeros means 0b any number of 1 means 1b or epsilon epsilon for termination purpose 0 number of yes and this okay so in this way you can write now let us see the next example l is equal to w such that here w means string number of a's in the string is equal to the number of b's in the string let the string contain a b so here number of a's are 1 number of b's are 1 Next, let the string contain a, a, a double b a. Number of a's are 2, number of b's. Number of a's are 2, number of b's are 2. Uh, there is uh, no restriction on the order. We can have the characters in any order. P double a b. Number of a's are 2. Uh, next, number of b's are 2. Okay. There is no restriction on the order. Uh, now, let us see the problem here. Uh, so, so, here, S implies, S implies, let the string contain c a. Next, uh, we have B. Uh, so here we have single A, we have single B. So before this, after this A, we can have any number of characters. After this B, we can have any number of characters. Likewise, let the string start with B. So next, for this B, the string contains corresponding A. So before this A, we can have any number of uh, A's and B's. After this A, we can have any number of A's and B's. For stopping purpose, we can use the epsilon. Epsilon is the minimum string here. So A, B. For this A, we have the corresponding B. So before and after this B, we can have any number of A's and B's. Here for this B, we have uh, corresponding A. Before and after this A, we can have any number of uh, A's and B's. Let us see the last problem. Let us see the last problem. L is equal to A power N, B power N plus 2. So production rules are S implies A, Yes, B. Here, what is if you take n as 0, then a power 0 means 0, b power 0 plus 2 means 2b. So here the termination symbol is 2b. If you take n as 1, then a power 1, b power 3. b power 3. How to get b power 3? By adding 2. So for adding purpose, we use this double b. For adding purpose, we use this double b. Okay. So likewise, we can solve any problem. Let us derive a string. Let n is equal to 2. Then 2a, b power 2 plus 2. b power 2 plus 2 means 4 bits. Let us derive the, let us derive the string. S implies a, s, b, a, s, b. What is s? a, s, b, b. Next, s implies a, a. In place of this s, we can substitute b, b. So a, a, 4 b. So that is nothing but derived string. So likewise, we can solve any problem very, very easily.